Welcome back to our weekly environmental news report. First news. The Chilean government has just announced a massive conservation program to protect wild Patagonia, a region at the tip of South America. The Chilean president, Michelle Bachelet, signed an agreement to create five new national parks and place 11 million acres of land under strict federal protection. The protected areas include volcanoes, virgin forests, and miles of wild coastline, and are more than three times the size of Yosemite and Yellowstone combined. This landmark decision comes after decades of urban development and exploitation of lands in the area. According to exclusive documents seen by The Guardian, the world's most widely used insecticides would be banned from all fields across Europe under draft regulations from the European Commission. A complete ban could be in place this year if the proposals are approved by a majority of EU member states in as soon as May. The insecticides, called neonicotinoids, have been in use for over two decades and pose high acute risks for the declining population of pollinators. Farming and pesticides groups, however, argue that the insecticides are vital for crop protection and that opposition to them is political. This month, Tunisia became the first Arab nation to ban plastic grocery bags in supermarkets. Every year, Tunisians use 1 billion plastic bags, generating 10,000 tons of waste. But now, factories that make single-use disposable bags will be transitioned to manufacturing heavier-duty plastic bags. These will be sold in supermarkets alongside cloth bags, which will provide an incentive for customers to bring their own reusable bags or traditional Tunisian baskets. While there is still much work to be done concerning Tunisia's environmental policies, this is a positive first step in raising awareness. It will give industrial manufacturing in March 2016, so the implementation of the ban will be in 2017. German scientists at the DRL's Institute for Solar Research have switched on a system called Sinlight, or the largest artificial sun on the planet. Sinlight is comprised of 149 huge spotlights, which produce light at about 10,000 times the intensity of natural sunlight. The aim of the experiment in creating such furnace-like conditions is to come up with a way for concentrating natural sunlight to produce hydrogen, which is considered to be the fuel of the future because it produces no carbon emissions when burned. The ultimate goal is to eventually use actual sunlight rather than the artificial light in this experiment, which requires as much electricity in four hours as a typical household would use in a year. Last Saturday marked the 10th year of Earth Hour, a worldwide demonstration of commitment to fight climate change. Millions of people participated as homes, cities, hotels, universities, and businesses turned off their lights at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Although turning off lights for an hour does not directly affect greenhouse gas emissions, the event is a symbolic gesture aimed at drawing attention to climate change. Some landmarks that went dark this year include the Empire State Building, the Eiffel Tower, the Colosseum, the Pyramids of Egypt, and the Sydney Opera House. That's all for this week's environmental news report. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and help promote environmental awareness. Thank you.